um, for more than two years, residents living in an apartment building in the Bronx, listen to this, have not had cooking gas for two years. As CBS 2 shows Pedrosian reports from Morris Heights, their stoves and ovens don't work and they're forced to use hot plates. A landlord is required to maintain cooking gas. That's all. That's all. That's all. Apartment owners Bruce Robertson and his wife Betty are living without gas for over two years now at 1715 Nelson Avenue. Microwave, air fryer, and crock pot. The couple, who are both battling cancer, rely on electronic appliances to support their recoveries. We need to cook. Normal, healthy food. A few floors down, 94 year old resident Martha Henry says she cooks on hot plates. But in order to fix the problem in this 48 unit low income co op, now the people in the house should pay rent. They ain't paying none. Alliance Property Management and Development tells CBS 2 News a gas leak in January 2021 prompted the shutoff. Records on HPD's website show the company has over 280 open violations at the building, several of them involving the lack of gas. In a statement to CBS 2 News, they say their efforts to restore natural gas have been hampered by a few residents who refuse to provide access to their units and shareholders and tenants that have refused to pay their maintenance and rent since December 2021. That's what we owe them, $2,525. The Robertsons say they won't pay because they're not receiving the basic services they need. Gene Fishman, a supervising attorney at Bronx Legal Services NYC, is representing tenants seeking repairs from the co-op and alliance. She says her clients won't pay because of mistrust. Our clients are seeking assurance that the money that will be spent towards the rent, towards dues, will be spent correctly. HPD says they're exploring all options when it comes to repairing this gas line. They say the co-op needs approximately $150,000 for this installation, and residents like the Robertsons say the battle over finances is denying their basic rights. This is the life that we have to live. Faith and hope is the only thing we get. In the Morris Heights section of the Bronx, Shosh Bedrosian, CBS 2 News. Now, Bronx Legal Services NYC tells CBS2 the management company and the co-op did not comply with a 2022 court order to correct the gas violations. The management company says because of the rent strikes, the co-op doesn't have the money mm. to fix the gas service. Shosh is our community reporter covering the Bronx. If you have any story ideas like this one, you can reach out to her at bronxtip at cbs.com.